Hey guys, welcome back to the Sullivan family. So it's one of our sit downy vlogs again tonight. Uh, we haven't, did we do one last week? We didn't do one last week, did we? We've done one for ages. Um, we've not done one for ages. I don't think so. I don't uh, know. I can't remember. So we've been asked loads, we've been asked this question loads, um, can we do uh, another what do the kids eat throughout the week? What do we cook throughout the week? That includes us. So what do we cook throughout the week? What kind of meals do we do? Um, I know a lot of people do like a week a week of meals, a week, I mean, but the problem, I think the problem is if we do a week of meals, they're quite similar, aren't they, every week? So um, what... Isn't that like everybody? Doesn't everybody <laughs> eat the same meals? Be quite it's similar. So, so, anyway, we thought right. That's that is a good it is a good title for a video, and I know lots of other families do it as well. Is is what do we feed twelve kids right and ourselves throughout the week? Well, obviously we start with um, baby Florence. She's just on milk, so she's on milk at the moment, and we've actually just put her on the anti reflux milk, which I think we talked about in um the other vlog didn't we when we said she she was struggling with her milk um, i still don't know if it's actually making a difference or not cause she's, no it's still not she's better than she was but it's still not it's a bit of a trial and error yeah isn't it yeah. changed bottles we've changed her milk but it's one of those things that i think we, we are we are very experienced parents and you know we've had to work we've had 12 children now however Every child is different and every time we have the same conversation, what are we doing wrong? Is there something we're doing wrong? Why is she why is she like she is? Is there has she got reflux? Is there something but it, it's just it's just all the fun and games of having babies, isn't it really? And you just you just try and make them as comfortable as possible when they're having their milk or whatever. She does else. seem to be better with that. Yeah. I think. And one of the things that because uh, she doesn't she doesn't settle. Look over my shoulder like that. Uh, no, no. Out. I was looking to see if we still we've got that <laughs> me out. Where, that baby chair. Where's the baby chair? Oh, the baby swing. The baby swing. The box, yeah. yeah. No, I haven't got it out yet. Where's that? Is that? It's in the hallway, but it's just in a box. Yes. So um, she settles really well when she's rocked. So we bought a baby swing and, and we weren't going to get one, were we? No, because we've got one with, most of them just got a baby chair, but um, we did get a baby swing with Eva and she hated it. So I vowed never to get one again. But we got one, we got one. because she just loves being swing. Just doesn't settle. And if you put her out on, you know, you know the new swing we've got, the black, she loves black it. swing, which yeah, it's, she loves it. So she'll hate this one. <laughs> <laughs> put it together and she'll hate it. It's all um, the fun of having babies. It really is. She gets Every really upset. one of them is different. Every one of them has got their own issues. It's like, you know, it's just they're, they're just babies and they're just trying to find their way and and trying to drink the milk. And she gets really stuff. upset though, doesn't she? She yeah. gets like she's in real kind of pain but then i think she's got a bit of a cough as well at the moment i think maybe yeah. she's picked something up from the older one there's ones. a bit of a bug go around the house at the moment which is really it's annoying included. and obviously when babies get a bug it's it's 10 times worse isn't it so because oh, um, they can't breathe through their nose yeah. can they? so then they can't breathe through their mouths because they're coughing and then they can't breathe through their nose they kind of do that thing where they just stop breathing altogether and start choking they're scary little monkeys they really are yeah what <laughs> Are you tired? I'm really tired. I'm really tired. <laughs> I just looked at you then, and I, I, oh my god, so you're I've so tired. I've got no tired. makeup on. I've got literally no. I've got no, no no. My eyebrows have not been painted on today, and I haven't had them done in ages. I've got no makeup on. I'm very tired. You're a very hardworking mummy, though, aren't you? Well, I've been up since about I don't know, half past three or something ridiculous <laughs> this morning. Joseph decided to get up at a ridiculous time. Be all right if it was just a baby having a feed and going back to bed, but then she wouldn't feed either, and she was really upset and she kept coughing and spluttering. And then Joseph got up, and you know what he's like when he gets up. Joseph, when he's up, he's up. That's it. And everyone else is getting up as well. Oh, and they'll just have a tantrum. Mother, so yeah, I've been up, and we will insist on keep going to bed at like midnight. Yeah, but the the problem is right. We're we'll going to bed a bit later because that's about the right time to feed. Um, Florence's kind of midnight bottle, yes, 11 ish to midnight bottle she has, and it's about the right sort of time. So I've been kind of staying, or we, we stay up a bit later and then give her a bottle and go to bed. So that's the idea, anyway. Anyway, enough of that. So we're going to talk about breakfast, right? So, breakfast, you've probably noticed before, but we have a lot of cereal boxes over our right hand side, your left hand side, whatever. Uh, so there's a lot of cereal boxes over there. There's also a lot of cereal boxes um, in underneath the counter. Can you see that where there? 
So, so there's a cereal boxes underneath the counter behind Zoe there where spare the bin is. Cereal. That's all the spare cereal for when we run out of the cereal um, for breakfast because each individual child has their own kind of preference. And we have, we are, I have cereal as well and Zoe has cereal as well. So we have things like... And they don't tell you when they're running out. They're just empty. It Ooh, just runs out. no cereal. So basically... no cereal. <laughs> So basically, so the way it goes is in the mornings, while Zoe's doing the dishes and sorting out the packed lunches for school, I'll sort out the breakfast. It's normally what happens, isn't it? And like, for instance, I'll, I'll put a bowl out for Elizabeth. She has shreddies. I'll put a bowl out for Noah, for for Eva and Toby. They both have Cheerios, um, dried Cheerios for some reason. They don't like milk in them. Don't know why. Uh, and then you'll have Lee and Erin like to have Choco Hoops. Or actually, they change their mind on a daily basis. But they, they normally have choco hoops with milk, and they've got these bowls with straws on them, which they love. Oh, they're great, they're B&M. Um, they yeah, love their bowls. They're really good. They're B&M? Yeah, hang on, I'll Little show you. Little plastic bowls with straws in, they were great. Show they you, were like show 50p you. or something. Where's it gone? See that? So they have bowls with straws on them, so, they like, so they'll have their choco hoops, and then they'll suck all the milk up afterwards so they have those uh and then agnes and joseph will both have some some type of dry dry cereal in a bowl agnes likes frosties at the moment. she does she loves her frosties um but she'll also have because she's got to have milk free stuff um she tends to have plain jam sandwiches um because she can't have like toast and butter and all that kind of stuff but she absolutely loved loves plain jam sandwiches with no butter on just jam and bread. She has got her own butter though, hasn't she? Yeah, she has got her own. Spread. She's got milk free butter, but she just prefers it without it. So she'll have that. Uh, and then they'll sometimes have a, a biscuit or two with them. Um, and Joseph likes his brioche rolls, his, cho his chocolate chip brioche rolls so for his breakfast. They have to be the Tesco's one. Yeah, they've got to be the Tesco's brand. Because if you buy him any other brand, he won't eat it. Yeah. I know because I've tried every other brand and he won't eat them. And the kids, they love to have a big breakfast. So the twins, again, once they've had their cereal, they'll have um, one, they'll have a piece of chocolate um, spread on bread, plus a yogurt. There's a lot of chocolate involved in their breakfast. <laughs> yes, but the, the problem is, is if you can't feel guilty. They, at least they're eating, you know, and they're having a good breakfast. They do, have, they do like their It's breakfast. a solid breakfast. And, 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 you know, and it's not totally unhealthy stuff. And there's sugar in all kinds of things, isn't there? And I get kind of tired of kind of worrying about, um, oh, they can't have this because they're having a bit of that and all this kind of stuff that you see. My God, we're going through um, a proper crisis at the moment, a financial crisis, aren't we? And and if we're going to start being picky about food as well, where's it going to end? I can't afford to waste food anyway. So no, rather, and like, that's uh, it. And um... Yeah. So so their breakfast, I mean, I mean, basically, the older ones sort themselves out. So from... Uh, Toby likes to have toast and butter in the morning, so I'll sort that out. Um, Eva likes to have dry toast in the morning, so I'll do that for her. But, oh, I've got a baby coming. Baby's crying. Olivia was holding her fuzz. Three, two, one, we're back in the room. So Florence is having a bottle, bless her. It's a bottle time, isn't it, for her? Hungry. Hungry. So anyway, going back to what I was saying, um, the older ones, so from like Noah up, will just sort themselves out for breakfast and they normally have a mixture of fruit. Um, Isabel is a fruit monster, isn't Olivia. she? Yeah, so they like, Olivia, Olivia likes quite to... often makes herself um, smoothie. smoothie bowls, these smoothie bowls that they yeah. make. They, she uses the frozen, we buy frozen fruit. Yeah. Um, and fresh fruit, obviously, but it works quite well because, she, I don't know, if she, I've not... I've not had one, but they're all these. They went, instead of having it in a cup, you have it in a bottle, don't you? Yeah. Um, I think she made herself a pineapple, mango, and banana one the other day, with then honey on top. It looked quite nice, actually. Yeah. But she, they, yeah, they do eat quite a lot of fruit for breakfast. Yeah, they're very, they're quite health conscious, actually. The older ones, aren't they? They really are. They, they, they think a lot about what they eat. I mean, don't put a vegetable near it. Isabel, <laughs> no, she won't eat a vegetable, no. but she'll eat loads of fruit. I mean, she literally will eat any of the fruit. Um, and all of it. Noah's made up recently because we finally, Asda in Elgin, have finally got honey hoops in. And he only likes the Asda, Asda brand honey hoops, right? So he hasn't had them for about eight months, has he? And he they finally the got ones. them in. He won't the, eat the Cheerios one. No. He'll only eat the Asda honey hoops. Yeah. I don't know why, but... And then, obviously, so, so Isabel, Charlotte and Olivia, they all like fruit. Um, I think uh, Charlotte quite likes cereal bars. And Elizabeth will eat cereal, so that's all then sorted. We like we both eat cereal as well, don't we? Normally for breakfast. Yeah. So I used yeah. to buy a lot of um, own brand 
cereals but um and we do some of them do prefer like they used to prefer the malt wheats from tesco yeah but then tesco's didn't have any for ages during the pandemic they just ran out of so many things and they never got them back no so i had to start buying some of the brand branded stuff yep. in during the pandemic because of um because the shops kept running out of stuff but of course now they like the branded stuff <laughs> And I used to steer away from buying brandy stuff because obviously it's more expensive. But then in saying that, I only like Frosties, proper Frosties. But then they kind of have their own cereal, which lasts for a while. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm, I'm the same. Things. I'm the same. I'm quite choosy when it comes to my cereal. Because, well, I mean, it, it's it's just one of those things. You've got to have a nice breakfast, haven't you? So, and, and we both love a breakfast, don't we? Right, that's breakfast done. Okay, moving on to lunch then. So, obviously, we were talking about pat lunches. Uh, for school and normally what we'll do or you'll normally you normally make pat lunches so you normally do a selection of fruit don't you so maybe great they normally have fruit they have yogurt they have um a sandwich or a wrap, wrap normally um they kind of like the same things our kids don't they most days they don't really like chopping it and changing too much they have a packet of crisps and they normally have like a little chocolate biscuit as well it's a bit of a traditional pat lunch like we used to have when we were kids i mean i remember having like an apple or a banana a sandwich either as a pepperami she does love her pepperamis oh my god she really loves them and toby won't eat sandwiches so he normally has just like um or well he will eat a wrap but he doesn't like them in his lunch box so he normally has some tuck biscuits but sometimes they just go for a little ride out in his lunch box and come back again and he's, then they go for a ride out the next day until you get to the end of the week and then they might go in the bin. He's because... quite a fussy eater, his old, his old um, Toby. Yeah. And, um, so we do the same on the, same on the weekends. Um, oh, um, in fact, during the day, in the weekdays, the, the older girls and, and Noah will sort themselves out. In fact, they make their own lunches now, don't they? They'll normally yeah, make a chicken so and cucumber wrap or something like that. They used to have lunches at school because mm -hmm. obviously they can eat in the canteen. I won't give them money for the co-op, but we've got a co-op right now by the school. I won't give them money for the shop because they'll just go and buy rubbish. Like they'll buy a five pack of cookies and that's not really a good lunch. So um, I won't give them money for the co-op, but I will put money on their card. So there is, but they have kind of gone off the canteen since the new school has opened. They say that the canteen is, they don't like the food as much. So um, they tend to just make their own lunches. Or come home for lunch. Charlotte comes home for lunch. Yeah, she'll come home and Olivia comes home for lunch. Yeah. Um, and Isabel and Noah both make their own yep. lunches and take their own stuff in, don't they? And Elizabeth. Well, she doesn't go to school now, but when she did, she would. they would take their own um, stuff in. And at, fine. and at the weekend, um, it's a similar sort of situation. So they have a similar sort of lunch to when they have a packed lunch, but not probably more fruit. And Olivia sorts that out for us. And Olivia's actually left a guide in one of the cupboards. I'm not for joking. You. She's left a guide in one of the cupboards. So when she's away on a competition or something, if we all know how to, to do lunches because she does them all. I mean, all she does is say, can you make this wrap, that wrap and that wrap? I'm like, yeah, fine. Can you just do some strawberries? Yeah, that, okay, I'll go and do some strawberries. Yeah, or she'll, she'll just give it, she'll just bark orders at me and, and she'll set up the lunch for everybody. They normally have a similar sort of thing that you would have in a packed lunch. So yeah. like crisps and, you know, um, a chocolate bar and some fruit and that sort of same sort of... A balanced Yeah, I'm, I'm a big believer in everything in moderation. Um, I don't believe in cutting things out of of, of kids' diets, especially um, in the fact that all of our kids have been brought up to know that they can have a packet of crisps every day if they want, but they can't have 10 packets of crisps every day. Um, they can have a chocolate bar, they can have some chocolate, but they can't eat like tons of, tons of chocolate every single no. day unless it's Easter or Christmas. That's different because I grew up with an eating disorder and it's something that's stuck with me for my whole life. And it's not, it's not fun. And I didn't want that for the kids. So it's been a really big, a really big thing of mine that everything in moderation. So I get annoyed when like they get told things at school that they can't have this and they can't have that because it's not healthy. Because I think it's, it's not healthy to cut things out of your diet. That's what's not healthy. It's not healthy to grow up thinking that you can't eat that and you can't eat that because that's, that's not healthy. We all know what is healthy and what is not healthy, but what's not healthy is cutting everything out of your diet you know kids need certain fats they need certain sugars they burn off a lot of energy they need certain things they don't need you know 
17 packets of sweets every day, but you, you can't cut everything out of kids' diets. It's not it's not right. It's not no. right to cut things out of... I mean, you know, all right, at the moment I'm trying to cut down on the amount of chocolate I eat, but then I'm 43, so, you know, when you get older... But when you're a kid and you're running around like our kids are all the time, they need that energy. They need that energy to grow. So I don't believe in cutting everything out of kids' no, diets, me especially. I think it's really, it's really bad. I think it will have a really bad knock-on effect. And normally, you cut everything out of a kid's diet. As soon as they go to be a teenager, the first thing they're going to go is to straight off to McDonald's and to the McDonald's. co-op and buy stuff. So, you know. Chippy. Ours have known from a young age. It's always just been what they do, you know. They only, like... You know, they might have a couple of packets of crisps in the day on a special occasion or, you know, but they know equally that that's probably not the best thing to do. So it's just been, always been, it's just been something. Like, our kids don't really, the little ones don't help themselves to snacks. There's snack no. time in the morning and the afternoon. I can't say that for the older ones because every day is snack time when they get older. But the little ones especially, you know, they have a snack in the morning, they have a snack in the afternoon. They don't just go rummaging through the cupboards. No in our house no. um looking for food anytime they want that's another thing we don't do is um there is you know there's breakfast they normally have a morning snack there's lunch they'll have an afternoon snack there's tea and that's it apart from the older ones and then there's you know six o'clock snack and eight o'clock snack and ten o'clock snack when they get older but that's, starving. that's different isn't it but well especially the, when the girls come back from dancing because they're starving as yeah, well aren't they and but for the little ones that's that's just been the way we've always done it you know there are t they don't need to be eating all the time um oh dear that's her nasty little cough that she's picked up we're keeping an eye on it at the moment and if we have to take it to the doctor we will when we yeah so yeah anyway it's just about teaching them you know everything in moderation yeah don't need to eat every hour of the day but you don't need to cut things out either and it works. It works for us, doesn't it? It works. Does. Works for the kids. They they know when snack time is. They're not starving. They're not you know they're not overeating, and they're not. It's the same as I don't agree with those BMI things they do on kids. Don't even get me started on that because Leah had hers done, and she came back as obese. I mean, these are two kids that were premature, and we waited for years for them to put weight on, um, and to finally catch up with their peers. And then you get a letter saying that she's obese, and you just think. It's just absolute crap, basically. It's <laughs> utter crap. Luckily, I didn't take any notice of it. And kids, you know, they do go through that stage as well when they're certain ages. Before they, like, take a stretch up, they kind of grow out a little bit, don't they? And then they take a stretch up and they all... It's just how pe kids grow. It's just the way that... If you don't... Ha you know, how do you grow if you don't have any energy and stuff to grow? Anyway, I'm in my soapbox now, so I'm going to shut up. <laughs> gone from talking about meals to talking about... I was about waiting for the timer to go off. Yeah. <laughs> but then I agree with you. I agree with all of that. Right, so we're on to dinners yeah, now. Yeah, Dinner, yeah. tea time. We call it tea time. Uh, I think I've clarified that before. Clarified it. I quite like that word, clarified. Is it a Cornish thing? What? Tea time. Tea time, boy. Is That's right. Thing? Is well, it I don't know. It's, it's, it's kind of English, it's British oh, slang, no, isn't is it? it? I think it's a I think it's like a, thing. Yeah, I mean, we used different. to say... When we were down in Cornwall, we used to say things like, you're coming in for your tea. It was always yeah? tea. Tea time. Lunch time, tea time. I may have lost my accent a little bit, but it's still in there. You haven't lost your accent. I feel my accent is still it's still in there. And it, oh God, wait till I go down to Cornwall. And then I'll, then I'll be talking about Jeffo again. But anyway, tea time. So tea time, dinner time, whatever you want to call it. Um, right, so this is what it's one of those things that, like Zoe was um, on about the kids and and we give everything in moderation we have a similar sort of attitude to, to dinner time in that um we do not we do not just do one meal and force it upon them and if they hate it, it gets chucked in the bin and they're starving to death what we do is we have a balance between there is going to be a core meal that we cook for that evening um but there'll also be if you don't want that meal then you then you're going to get chicken nuggets and a potato kind of thing out, out of the freezer i do try and encourage them to try things mm -hmm. especially the ones that don't but i don't make them i can't afford no, to waste i I, I as a kid and... as a kid I, I was sat in front of cottage pie and i still don't like it now 
you know, um, sat, I was sat there for two hours until until I'm I. I'm not going to sit there and make them. It's, uh, and it's like it's just no. Thanks. Isabel has always had a really bad gag reflex, hasn't she? Yeah. So if she eats something that she really doesn't like, she will be sick. Yeah. Um. So I, you didn't used to, you know, if I force her to eat something, she will be sick, and I, I kind of get that because I've been a little bit like that, and plus it, I didn't want to breed any kind of eating problems. So yeah. you know, I do encourage them to try things, and. Like, like if I do spaghetti bolognese, spaghetti bolognese is always a good meal because most of them will eat spaghetti bolognese yeah. or a variation of. Like, yeah. Isabel doesn't like the... So Elizabeth will eat spaghetti bolognese. Olivia will eat spaghetti bolognese without the spaghetti. Um, Charlotte likes spaghetti bolognese. Isabel will have spaghetti without the bolognese. So that's fine because she yeah. eats the spaghetti. Yeah. Um, Noah likes it. Eva likes it. Toby has tried it, but he's not keen. Um, but he likes the garlic bread because we do garlic yeah, bread with, he's with really, that as well. He's quite a fussy eater, isn't he, Toby? Yeah. Um, and he's got he's quite nervous about things as well, isn't he? Yeah. So we kind of have to be a bit careful around him. Um, Leah and Erin have tried the bolognese, but they're not overly keen, so they just eat the spaghetti with cheese. Yeah, they like the spaghetti with cheese on top. And garlic bread. Yeah. Um, Agnes obviously is different, and Joseph won't eat anything hot, so you know yeah. we keep trying him, and. It's all you can do. It, that, just that's keep that's another thing that I was gonna I was gonna pick up on as well is Joseph is he, he's three years old. He's a very funny little boy. He's stuck in his ways. He and he and he, he just will not. He's so stubborn. And when I mean stubborn, I mean don't don't get me wrong. We're quite experienced as you as you're well aware. But this boy is stubborn. And if you if you change something or and and we'll what so what we normally do is we'll give him. A little taste of something hot but he won't eat hot food and he was the same when we used to make it for but him to the point before. where he just didn't eat dinner for like two no, weeks. He, he starved himself he to eat. death just nearly eat. didn't he he just wouldn't eat we, we were doing it so when when you're weaning obviously you do the mushed up vegetables and all that kind of stuff I don't know if anymore. um you try and give them hot food that way and he just wouldn't have it um and it was the same later on Anything? with um having sitting down with meals with the others he just wouldn't do it, would he? Or even when he was he in his high chair, he dinner. just wouldn't do it. He just wouldn't, he would not... He did use sweet he, stuff when, when hot stuff when I was weaning him. Oh, I suppose, like, of yeah. Stuff then. I mean, when he was really tiny, yeah. Yeah, when, you know, when you're feeding them baby food and stuff like that. He ate all of that, same as all of them did. But, but what I mean is later on... When he became when a toddler. We started to, yeah, when we started to, you know, get him off the baby food and on onto the... Um, onto the normal hot food he just no just he, and he still won't do it we just keep trying i remember speaking to a health visitor years ago about so isabel she um she only she went off to they've all been fed the same thing as babies they've all been fed you know either homemade or 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 boxed baby food um and they've all eaten anything i mean elizabeth everything was was cooked from fresh yeah for elizabeth everything and she's probably one of the fussiest eaters now so I don't don't believe in in any of them. If you feed them this, then they'll grow up with it. No, she. I literally cooked everything from scratch, even down to apple puree. I used to make my own apple puree for for Lizzie. So everything she ate was from scratch, and she used to eat the lot pasta with vegetables and everything else. She won't eat a vegetable now. No. I don't think at all. She hit toddler stage, sort of probably about two and a half something like that. Stopped eating. Yeah. Slowly, I didn't like this. Didn't like that. Didn't like the other. So, yeah, it's um. Whereas Olivia was always a really good eater, but Isabel, when she was sort of about eighteen months, obviously did the same sort of thing, ate everything, and then she slowly started cutting things out. She didn't like this. She didn't like that. They just start refusing foods, don't they? Yeah. To the point where, when she was by the time she was about three, she would only eat cheese sandwiches and fruit. That was it. She wouldn't eat anything else. She wouldn't eat anything hot. She and I, I was so worried about it. And I remember speaking to the health visitor and saying, I can't get her to eat anything else. I've put things on her plate, she won't eat it. She'll only eat cheese sandwiches. And by that point, you just want them to eat something, yeah. You know, they have to eat something, so you just give them whatever you can give them. Um, and the health visitor said to me, Just keep just trying one thing on her plate, just keep introducing something, something small, you know, keep giving her what she's if she's eating it, you know but keep just putting something on a plate and i remember it was spaghetti hoops wasn't it spaghetti hoops yeah on a plate so then she only ate spaghetti hoops and cheese sandwiches for ages so it's just like 
there's many theories around if you feed them this and if you feed them that and if you feed them a balanced you know homemade stuff as a baby then they'll grow up and eat everything it's just we've had I mean, so many different varieties of kids our ethos eating different is, things it's all rubbish our ethos is basically why stress yourself out why why put you through, you put yourself through that torture of trying to force meals on kids that are just not going to eat them uh, and what the balance that we've got actually works, doesn't it? Because the, a lot of them will like um, when we when we do mash and gravy, they'll love it. Um, a lot of them will like um, bolognese. Yeah, we do we do bolognese. Sweet and sour chicken is another Sweet one. Sweet and sour chicken, that's quite a good one. Most of them will eat yeah. some kind of variety of it when yeah. they. But equally, if we if we're doing something with chips, you know, from the oven, a lot of them will eat that um pasta is another one just Pasta's plain pasta a lot of them eat the pasta yeah and so basically our, our week is pretty similar every week i mean the, the nights that the girls are dancing and we've got a crazy night yeah that's now have bit, it's always a bit difficult dancing yeah. nights are difficult because um like so the girls have an early dance class on a wednesday and they dance through till later on and they don't like to eat before straight before they dance so no. they eat when they come back so it's normally a sausage rolls or something they can grab and cook quite quickly beans on toast something that they can it's yeah. not too heavy and something they can grab quite quickly so they do that on really on their own pasta something like that um if thursday nights are generally um i've got to be out the door early because the younger ones have dance classes first but the older ones dance classes don't start till later so i generally do hot dogs on a Thursday yeah. because I can cook it quickly. Most of them can eat it quickly and they've eaten something, you know, the little ones don't care. They can literally eat dinner and go and jump on the trampoline. Yeah. Um, and the older ones get that time for it to kind of digest. So Thursday nights has kind of ended up being our hot dog. Yeah. Hot dog night. Hot dog night. Yeah. And then obviously over the weekend. So you do, in fact, Zoe does most of the evening cooking for the kids in the week. And then weekends is my turn. And then what I'll normally do is... Oh, um, I remember something else that they eat. That they Most of them will eat jack potatoes. Yes, jack of potatoes, jack yes. potatoes and salad, yeah. they like that. I'm yeah. trying to think of meals that I will Jack of potatoes. Uh, and they also like chicken noodles, you know, bachelor's mm. chicken noodles. Love chicken oh, my noodles. God. And, and, I, and I have to cook about eight packets of that. Sometimes things like that are like quick meals if we've been out on a Saturday... Yeah. Or and, been down to the beach or yeah. done something. Or been Another to the woods. thing that they absolutely love is a roast, but yeah. I don't do them that often. But they do love, and that again is like a variation. Some of them will eat, you know, the meat, the the veg, and the potatoes. Some of them will just eat the meat and potatoes. But it's normally a very. I try and I try and do a meal that most people will eat some kind of variation of. And like you said, you know, if they don't, then it's Norwich chicken nuggets or something. Yeah. But um. Yeah. It's it's just kind of it's, trying to find that balance. It's normally it? two it's two choices. So they'll get the main meal that we're cooking, and if they don't want that, then it's it's a basic meal of some chicken and potatoes, and white food stuff, white and that's food. it. So, and, and, but most of the time, there's a nice balance between all of them because some of them like this and some of them like that, uh, and and so on and so on. So it works out, it works out really well, doesn't it? It works out well, doesn't it? Yeah. In the end, and I'm not gonna, you know, for a long time I would. If people would say, oh, "What do you, you know, what do you feed them, and what do you eat?" and I would, th I would, videos like this would horrify me because I would think I'm going to have to, you know, tell people what we and people are going to have and an be opinion, about and, it. you know, of oh my god, they feed them rubbish, and and now I'm kind of like, do you know what? Nobody's got the money to things are so expensive now. I've noticed the change just in the last couple of weeks. Things aren't going up by two p anymore; they're going up by twenty p and 30p and 50p you know things that you would buy before that you might notice i mean i notice everything in the supermarket because i'm i shop so i shop in different supermarkets um where i know i can get what i want to get for the cheapest price so and i've i have been around aldi and stuff like that and to be honest now with aldi price match and stuff like that a lot of the stuff that i buy in tesco's and asda is a similar price to aldi so i'm already kind of at the level where i know where i can get the the cheapest stuff it's kind of imprinted in my brain like well, yeah. that's 85p in that shop that's 75p in that shop um and i check everything every time and you notice 2p rises and, and 4p rises because i think i swear that was like you know 2p cheaper last week but lately i've been going in and it's 20p more expensive it's just for instance 
we buy chewing gum, packs of chewing gum. The kids like to have, the older ones like to have chewing gum. Um, and they used to be one ninety nine for a pack of six, the two pound twenty now. And that's in a, that was just happened overnight. So, you know, that's going 20p. up twenty p a loaf. It's just uh, things like milk and stuff like that. I don't mind because the farmers don't get paid enough for milk anyway. But it's other stuff, and you think this is it's just ridiculous. I mean, just just I was speaking to somebody else, and they said, you know, some things are going up by a pound. And if you add that up over your shop, we're already probably our budget is already probably gone in three weeks rather than four weeks now. And I mean, we were struggling to make it last four weeks before. Yeah. And if it's a five week month, you're always kind of digging into the next month's um, money. But now it's, you know, you, you kind of almost using up a whole extra week's worth of shopping money, if you like. And it's trying to make things stretch. So we, you know, we can't afford to be chucking food out no. or... And as much well, as it, I'd like I to mean, be more experimental with food, we have not very big a kitchen. Um, I would have loved to have had a bigger kitchen where I could involve the kids more in cooking, but this kitchen's not safe enough to involve the kids more with cooking. Um, maybe one day we'll have somewhere where we can... Yeah, of, I hope so. I mean, the older girls like to bake and stuff like that, don't they? Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it's kind of... Nobody's got the money to to waste on throwing things in the bin and as much as people say you know my children eat this and my children eat that maybe they do or maybe they don't maybe our, they just make at, the, it up. at the end of the day our kids are healthy they're happy um there's no stress around meal times um there's no kind of you know dilemma about feeding them uh and, the, and we're not stressed out about meal times either you know because, and, and i think that's the key it's it's about not being stressed about what you're cooking it's not being stressed about um you know, not stressing the kids out either. It's all that kind of stuff because who needs that in their life? I don't Do like I mean? stress around food. Who needs that in their life as well? Again, it's something that stems back from 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 me and having an eating disorder. Stress around food creates more stress around other things. It, it makes, you know, all of these it's things... It's a vicious circle, isn't it? All of these things add up, especially with, you know, teenagers, girls and boys... Um, you start putting emphasis on what is it's like why well, I don't I don't agree with the whole calories on um, takeout food and stuff like that we all know that takeout food is bad for you you know we all know but equally we, we have a takeaway on a Friday night most Friday nights that's our, that's um, our one treat of the week yeah it? that's so, kind of our, our I mean Zoe and I don't drink or smoke or do anything like that but we do have a, a takeaway on a Friday yeah we do have a take most Fridays I mean if we couldn't you know if we couldn't afford it one week we don't have it no. but um, and the kids, you know, the kids like to have a Domino's every now and again and stuff like that. We all know how many calories are in a Domino's pizza. I don't need to be shown it. You know, we all know that. It's like a McDonald's. They all know that McDonald's isn't overly healthy, but they're still going to eat it every now and again because it's a treat, isn't it? These things yeah. are a treat. And I don't agree with um, putting so much stress around healthy eating like in that. I mean, it, it, don't get me wrong, healthy eating is important, but eating everything in moderation is also important because that is healthy, a healthy mindset around eating. Yeah. Um, I think you're just promoting m more eating disorders, really, with all this. Um, and for, no, coming from a point of view from somebody who knows the calorie content of everything because I memorized it when I was younger and I probably still do it now without even realize I check pick something up check the calorie content on it and that's from constantly doing it when I was in my teens um having having that right there in front of you on everything is just going to be you know when I was younger you used to have to look it up on the actual product now you can already look it up on the internet so now you now it's right there in front of you as well it's just it's just making, I think it's a, making a, a big mistake really with it all. But um, I don't know. I know we have to promote healthy eating, but I don't know. I don't know if maybe some, maybe there's people that don't know about what is healthy and what is not. So maybe it is needed in some cases, but equally, I just think it's it's going to make some people... Um, even worse.
Okay, so now we're on to what we eat in the evenings. Now, um, the way the way that we do our meals is that we'll do tea time for the kids at around four, half four, five o'clock, that sort of time in the evening. And then it, the little ones are up for bath time, bedtime, and they're in bed for about half six, seven o'clock, that kind of thing. So, and, they, and, and that's how our evening goes. But it kind of developed a few years back uh, that that we we do sit down and eat with the kids now and again if we're doing a buffet or a party or a birthday or christmas or easter or whatever or we're out for a meal we'll sit down and eat with them but gen generally we eat in the evenings after they've all gone to bed and probably a bit too late really but then we sometimes it's 10 o'clock before we we've eat. we've fallen into the habit obviously because w once the little ones have gone to bed we we are either editing a video or do or doing something for ourselves or or catching up with a, a bit a job or two that we've got to do you know that sort of thing so we'll then I'll, I'll i'll probably start cooking at about half past eight in the evening i know that's too late but you know it's just how it's developed and it's how we it's how we live now um and i i actually quite i don't mind it at all you know, it's probably. I don't like sharing my food. No. Um, so, basically, the meals that we do will tend to be around about what the kids have had earlier. So, if if we've done bolognese, we'll have bolognese. Yep. Yep. Um, and we'll save some back for ourselves I later cook on. Enough. If I cook, mm -hmm. if I cook a kilogram of mince and you two jars of yep. bolognese sauce, it's normally enough to feed them and us, yep. with normally an extra portion left over for us as well. Which will it? go in the freezer. Uh -huh. Uh, jack of potatoes is the same so we'll have a bag of salad that we've bought for ourselves and then you'll probably cook up about 12 jack of potatoes in a hit in one hit and then zoe and i'll have jack of potatoes for tea them up later on, and just eat them up later on and and, and there we go so jack of potato and salad uh and then another one will be pasta and so we'll do pasta and pasta sauce normally we we'll buy a pasta sauce jar because it's easier um and we'll do a pasta and pasta sauce with maybe a garlic bread i love or, pasta you know or and then um after we don't through. actually eat very much meat, do we? No, but not I, a lot. I, I used to be vegetarian, um, and there's a lot of meat that I don't like. So there isn't, and I'm, I'm, now it's kind of come full circle, because it used to be that you had to have your meat and everything else. And I used yeah. to think, do the kids eat enough meat? Because, you know, I don't cook very much meat. So I used to worry that, do they not eat enough? Now it's come full circle in that they don't want us to eat so much meat anymore. No. So I was right all along. Exactly. See, I was right all exactly. along. I knew I was always so right. Wednesday night's a favourite of ours. Now I've I've developed a chicken burger, right? Which is a brioche totally bun. Unhealthy. It's a brioche bun. Yeah, but I don't care. It's it's, it's we we have Chinese on a Friday and we have chicken burgers on a Wednesday, and that's our kind of treat treats, if you like. Um, so it's normally a brioche bun with a spicy chicken. What would you, what would you call it? So they're like piece. The chicken pieces from a, a spicy chicken piece, which I cook in the oven. Uh, and then I do it with hash browns, don't I? And then we use the, then we buy Nando's sauce. It's amazing. I'm sorry, but it's amazing, isn't it? In fact, I prefer it, I prefer that to Chinese sometimes to a takeaway. Yeah, so it's a brioche bun with um, a, a chicken, a spicy chicken bit cooked in the oven with um, hash browns and Nando's sauce. It's amazing, and we normally have that with some oven chips, don't we, or something, and and some beans. Yeah, so that that's a really nice. I love that. I love that meal. It's great. Uh, and then sometimes we'll we'll do something quick like um, beans on toast and with a bit of scrambled egg or something like that. Mm -hmm. And um, and then over the weekend it's normally um, we'll have a Chinese on a Friday. Uh, and then weekends are probably much the same. And it's either pasta mm -hmm. or um, maybe we'll, we might do like a fish and chips out of the freezer kind of thing or something like that. You know. So we try we try and eat eat healthily ourselves. Uh, and like I said, we do have some treats. We do have some chocolate now and again, don't we, and things. But chocolate is my substitute. That's like we don't drink anything, do we? We don't drink yeah, alcohol. Yeah, that's right. So yeah, we gave up drinking uh, a, a few years back now, didn't we? Uh, just just because, just because it no, was, was before Joseph was born. So. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. We gave up drinking as we were like plowing and drink every night. But what I do mean is, you know, it was quite. It was a thing that we used to do uh, a lot. Um, and now you make a certain like alcohol. No, well, no, I don't mean we're alcoholics. Just like every, I mean, other people, the, the same as normal people, you know, weekends and and maybe a couple in the evening and all that kind of stuff. But it just became too expensive. And to be honest, no, it was, you, it, it's, it's, my mental health is not. No, uh, and it wasn't. It's really. It's a, the one of my biggest triggers. I've written about it before, and mm. it is. It's um. I don't. It took me a long time to realise that that was probably one of the biggest triggers that I had. Yeah. Um. To make me, you know, um worse if you like make my mental health worse um and yeah it's great at the time but it's not 
Oh, it's still, it's also it's dealing with hangovers. If we're having a hangover oh, God, with children, yeah. it's just I mean, oh, it's no fun. Hang I couldn't it's no deal fun. with it now. Yeah, I mean, I no. you know we had less children back then, but yeah. Well, the children were a lot younger. Probably and, one of the and, best things we ever did. Yeah, it was. It was, and and it's and it's great because I I do not miss it one bit. I tell you that for nothing. I don't, I don't miss um, going out for a drink or anything like that. No, I don't at all. I do find it. You know, I used to find it a bit difficult when people would. Um, invite you out or ask why you didn't drink and why you're not drinking and all that with now I'm just I just I'm happy to just because I used to yeah. think how do you say because in this society where it's perfectly acceptable to you know it's to drink wine and all of that sort of stuff and I used to think what do, what do I say when people say why mm -hmm. why do you not drink you know I'm, I have to have a reason and but you don't actually because I just no. say no we don't but drink actually equally um, we've got nothing against people that do drink if, if that's, oh no if that's, if that, no good if, for if us that's, if that's what you want to do honestly and, and that's up to you and, and we don't judge anybody at all uh, it's just in our situation it just doesn't work does it for me it doesn't work oh my god me, and we're up it we're up it there's nothing you know good for me I, I love nothing more than to get up early in the morning be ready to go get the day off going on and then we'll go for a walk down the woods and all that kind of stuff and when you've got a hangover it just doesn't work you just you, you don't you don't you just don't want to do any of it so Hence why I eat chocolate <laughs> yeah yeah because we don't that is kind of the only um we don't have any other kind of vices no do we no but that says not judging anybody that's just well, no, that's just us talking about what, that's just us just talking about what we do. It's the worst, yeah. the worst thing for us. Yeah, for sure. it, it didn't work at all. So yeah, that's that's basically our meals. So we'll probably eat late, uh, like about half a state. Like um, we'll probably get a Chinese tonight in a bit um, once I've got this video edited and, and put on. And that's how. And we quite enjoy that now. I don't mind that now, do you? You all right? I might have a little nan and up. <laughs> I thought you was gonna have one then. Are you all right? She's making me tired. She's gone to sleep. She's making me sleepy. You're making me warm and sleepy. Anyway, guys, um, I probably will do it at some point. I'll, pro I'll probably film each individual meal as we go through the week. But it's a bit difficult at the moment, especially with it's work, always, isn't it? Meal times it's, are always so hectic. I've, I've, I've seen. You're I've, not. I normally am cooking food before mm -hmm. you. I normally do dinner before you come home. Yeah. And, you know, when you've got a baby and Joseph eats in the kitchen and... 11 or 10 children in there waiting for food it's really difficult to then I know. if you're on your own to then film it as well there's certain things that I find it's like when I try and do a day in the life I'd like to be able to start off in the beginning and, and film every single little bit but um, you just can't when you're you just can't do it it's you know our time is so tight you can't kind of that's right if something goes wrong in the morning and it puts me out of time yeah everybody ends up being late so. and that's the thing i mean because i've seen other, i've seen how other families do these videos before and and it's kind of like they'll film every individual meal throughout the week and put it all together in a, in a video but it's it's quite difficult for us to do that yeah we both we've tried to be we've, home, we've we? tried it before and unless we're off on kind of holidays or on leave or, or whatever um it's really difficult but we we can blether like this for ages can we or especially you you're, you're very good at blethering uh, at chatting so anyway i hope you've enjoyed this um, it's, it's how we kind of tell you how, how we do our meals and all that kind of stuff and what we cook through the week and, and we're, we hope um, you, you understand that we, we're honest about it and all that kind of stuff you know and we'd rather be honest about it than, than dress up what we, what we do whoa really. where are you going um, like some Marks and Spencers have but because that's not how we live you should stop doing that you know and we can't afford to live that like that so really hope you enjoyed this video guys um, please subscribe to our channel please hit the bell for notifications drop us a like and a comment um, and we are doing memberships now as well so I thought I'd, me I'd mention that um, and I think that's it for tonight is it not? Mm -hmm. yeah it keeps chucking our head around I think it? that's it so we're, we're vlogging again tomorrow uh, not sure what we're doing yet the kids the little ones are going swimming so that'll be the start it's, it's swimming lessons isn't it <laughs> swimming lessons <laughs> gotta get them to swimming lessons on Saturday morning <laughs> But we can get a lion on a Saturday. When do we get a lion? Seriously? Yeah, but like, have a five. Six o'clock would be nice. We don't need lions. We don't need lions at all. So anyway, guys, we're going to leave it there. Uh, really hope you enjoyed the video. And we'll see you in tomorrow's vlog. Bye!